like this steers for me almost like autopilot on Tesla it, when that's lit up and then it gets orange and then it gets red if I don't touch it after a while see it's getting orange it's getting upset with me the steering it actually was just going around a turn for me hold steering wheel so I have to tug it just like on Tesla the whole tug it but it's steering it is steering it's centering the car in the lane Well, let's wait till we get to a, a curve, too. Actually, it's going to be a while till we get to a curve. I can show it. Right now, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. Like, the road opens up, it doesn't move over like on Tesla. And there, it would move over and start to wiggle. It's going to complain again. You can see the road curves. Road curves up here. Let's see if we're going to... It's taking us to the curve, isn't it? Yes. Because the road is curving. Kind of tug, tug at that. So it is, it's steering. I don't know if it could do like a real twisty road or anything. I don't know if this is new with the software update either. We just had. Unsupervised level three autonomous systems in its upcoming Polestar 3. This is not the 3. No, this is not the 3, no. All right, well, that January is 2023. It's 2022 July now, but look, there, here's a curve. It's gonna to curve to the left, it's gonna to curve to the right. Let's see what happens. Are we turning? Is the wheel turning? Looks like it, looks like it is. It's turning the wheel, yeah, so it's not, it's not just keeping me from going off the road, it's actually turning the wheel. And then we're gonna have this a little bit tighter right, sweeping right turn coming up. turning it it looks like it is yeah it's turning the wheel it is turning the wheel for me Polestar has self-driving technology as of June 7th that means the previous one had it well this is not this is not like autopilot is it or is, is this the same system as autopilot it would be like a maybe between level 2 and level 3 I think maybe this is similar to autopilot. It has the ability to cruise at high speed with almost no human input. What's it called? What's the name of this? Self-driving technology. Just, just self-driving. It doesn't have a name like autopilot. Yeah, it's not called self-driving. But I like how it gives you the little yellow, orange, and then red. So if it turns orange and you can hug it, you're like halfway to it warning you. I'm guessing if I leave it alone, it'll shut off. All right, let's see what happens when it warns me and I don't do anything. It's called pilot assist. Pilot assist. Is that one word, pilot assist? Two. Pilot assist. Oh, there. Pilot assist canceled. But it's still going. I can, I can feel it. It's still under control. It's slowing the speed down, though. We have to hit the... All right. Alright. It was cancelled. Alright. How do I turn the, oh like like that? The right okay, right. Now it's now it's on. I always did this just for cruise control. I didn't know you go to the right and then it turns the wheel steering wheel part on too. Alright, let's see if it'll break all the way. And let's see if it'll start us up again. Pilot assist. Like, there it goes, it stopped. And it's accelerating. So to turn on the pilot assist, first you do cruise control, which is my, my, left, my, my left thumb, I'm gonna just tap it and that sets the speed. And then you do tap on the right arrow. Whoops, wait, wait, it was already on. Let's try it again. Tap it, it sets the speed. Actually, it says pilot assist right away. Yeah, it must be already on. You can use the left or the right arrow. Okay. Assist. Well, it's just doing it automatically then. I want to set it at a higher speed. Higher speed, I don't know how to, wait, is, it, is this, way? it only does it in five mile per hour increments when I do it like this. 
falls asleep like that. All right, let's do a lane change. The car, I think it does it itself. Whoa! It stopped. All right, that didn't do it. Hold on. Why did it do that? Let's try it again. I'm, I'm still getting used to this. There, pilot assist is on. Now let's do a lane change, see what happens. Are we making the lane change? Yes. Whoa, it's a, it's a little bit, it's not like Tesla. Tesla's a lot easier to do. This definitely has some work to be done on the system. It's not very intuitive, or either I'm doing something wrong, or let's try it again one more time. It's, it's, it's just drifting. It starts drifting the minute I turn the uh, lane change on. When lane change isn't on, it doesn't drift. It's weird. Okay, for the lane change on, what is this, autopilot? It's not autopilot, something pilot. You, pilot says you hit, you hit the blinker, it lets off on the lock. See, I almost drifted in the left lane because it lets off on the lane lock. Then you go into the lane, you turn it off, and then it locks again. So it's not actually making the lane change for you, but it's turning off the locks where it's locking you in your lane to do the steering and it's letting you take over momentarily. That's how it works in this vehicle. So it's nowhere near as good as Tesla system, at least not now. And I don't even know if they'll ever improve it because I don't think they have any side cameras. So they can't really see what's going on. You know, side or back cameras. I think it only has a front camera. Does it know that it's not safe to make a lane change? It doesn't, as I'm saying. When I, make the, when I hit the blinker, it unlocks the steering from steering the car. It's up to me now. I, I take control of the steering. I go to where I'm going. That's oh, that, that light over there is right. But that there's somehow a sensor, a, a, like it doesn't have to be a visual sensor, it can just be a proximity sensor on that. But it doesn't use it apparently for the lane changing that I'm aware of. So just keep that in mind. That's why it freaked me out before. I wasn't sure about how it was working, and I definitely understand at this point. Thank you. 